Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at the Finder sidebar and how you can customize it. Now, here's the Finder window, and you can see that the sidebar is off to the left. Now, if you don't see the sidebar, chances are you have it turned off. Go to the View menu, and you've got Hide Toolbar and Show Toolbar. This is what it looks like when it's off, and this is what it looks like when it's on. Now there are usually four categories in the sidebar. The first is devices. This will show you hard drives that are in your Mac or connected to your Mac and it will also show you things like iDisk. Also after that is shared. Shared will show you devices on your network that are shared. After that is places. These are things you can customize. We'll look at those in a second. And then there are some saved searches after that. You can also customize them. So to add an item to places, you can just drag it there. So for instance, if you wanted to add a shortcut to your music folder, all you simply do is click on your music folder, drag it over, and stick it in the places area. You can also move these items around to prioritize them. To take something out of the places area in the sidebar, simply click on it and drag it out. You'll see a little cloud appear under your cursor. Just release it anywhere and it will actually disappear in a puff of smoke. Now to customize the rest of the sidebar, what you need to do is when you're in the Finder, go to Finder Preferences and one of the tabs, the third one, is Sidebar. And it will have check marks next to things that can be shown. For instance, under Devices you can decide whether or not you want inserted CDs or DVDs or iPods to show up. Uh, you can decide whether or not you want iDisk to be there at all. Under Shared you can choose whether you want Bonjour connected computers or the Back to Mac functionality to show there as well. And in places you can check off some default things like the home folder, desktop, things like that. And then at the bottom there's some default search items just below the screen here where you can't see it. Now to add some saved searches in the sidebar, first thing you need to do is perform the search. So for instance let's search for files that have the word test in the title. And say I want to save this, I can go ahead and click the save button that appears in the bar right there. And then I can name this and I can save it under Save Searches and also make sure I check off the Add to Sidebar checkbox here at the bottom. That will put this test search in the sidebar and there it is. It's worth looking at some of these defaults here. For instance, the Today Search uh, will show you files that were last opened modified today. Yesterday is also very useful and for the past week. Make a quick way to find something you just had open but now I've closed all the windows and can't quite remember where it is. One of the most common problems people have with the sidebar is they accidentally get rid of one of the devices. For instance, they click and they drag away the Macintosh hard drive. And now they can't figure out how to get back to the Macintosh hard drive to even add it in. Well, the way to do that is simply to go back to those preferences we looked at earlier. And you can see that because I drug away the Macintosh hard drive, now hard disk has a dash next to it instead of a check mark, meaning only some of them are shown. I can go ahead and click that to a check mark and you can see that the Macintosh hard drive is put back in place. And I can also add back the iDisk that way as well. So the sidebar is one of those things where it's always there but a lot of people don't get the most use out of it. It's a good idea to review what's in your sidebar, get rid of some folders you're no longer accessing very often, and put some common ones there. If you're using Spotlight a lot, it's a good idea to figure out what searches you're performing most often and also put them in the sidebar as well. So there's a quick look at the Finder sidebar. Hey, if you've got any questions about using Mac OS X or the iPhone, visit macmost.com slash macanswers. It's our new audio podcast. You can submit a question and I'll try to answer it in an upcoming future episode of the show. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. <laughs>